Hey guys, welcome back to Game On. I know it's been a little while, but I'm back, and today I'm going to be playing Wingspan, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave and published by Stone Mario Game. I'm going to be playing the Stone or the solo version against the Automa. I'm going to be playing on the Eagle difficulty, which is the mid-level difficulty, so they'll score four points for every card they have. I'm going to be playing as Red against the Blue Automa for setup. I'm got to grab the round tokens. Four, one for each of the rounds. All right, then we gotta get the Automa set up. I'm gonna draw one of these cards for them because it has a percentage point. That's they can use it. Fishery match manager, birds that eat fish, they'll get points, or they'll try to take those cards off the tray. When they can, and then I'm going to draw two for myself, and I get to pick one. The two I got were falconer and birds that eat mice. I'm gonna take birds that eat mice. Um, has a little bit more percentage of cards, and it seems a little easier to me. So I'll be the rodentologist, and we can just discard this card. And then I'm going to draw my five starting cards. Those starting cards. I've got the Spotted Sandpiper. Pretty good. Only one thing. Gets me five points. The Yellow Build Sapsucker. Carolina Chickadee. Red Breasted Nuthatch. And Lincoln Sparrow. So for every one of these I would like to keep, I get one of each starting resources. So if I keep three cards, I can only keep two of the starting resources. I'm just going to read through, see what I like. I like that card. I like that one. Hmm. I like all of these actually. I think I'll discard the Lincoln Sparrow. And then I'll keep one worm because it looks like I have a lot of worms on my card. Okay, now to set up the rest of these cards. And I'm going to roll the dice. Those are our starting options. And for round one, we have eggs in the egg basket nest. And so the Automa is going to have one automatically and then however many more they get from their cards to start. All right, we're all good to go and we get to go first. And so I'm going to plant a bird for my first turn. I'll plant this bird. It, I'm going to spend my one worm and play a bird right there. All right, and that's my turn. Then the Automo will go. They are going to take one of these, or a face down card. So whenever they do this action, we are going to clear out that row. Then we fill it with three cards. And then they will get a face down card, which is going to be worth four points for them at the end of the game. They would also remove one of their tokens from up there, but they haven't placed any yet. So now it's back to my turn. I need some resources, so I'm going to take this action. Um, I'll probably want the worm the most, so I'll take just the straight up worm. Moving over, this card's ability, I gain one wheat from the supply and I can cash it on the card, so that'll be worth one point at the end of the game. Now it's back to the Artemis turn. So now they are going to be looking for a bird that eats fish in these categories. There are none that eat any fish. So instead they will just simply take a card and add it to the face down stack. It's so now back to my turn. I am going to lay eggs. So I'll place two eggs on them so that next turn I can play here and play another bird. Back to the Automa, they are going to gain a face down card and reset. And 
all the way. And they also add one of their cubes. So now they'll have two eggs in those nests at the end of the round. All right, it's back to my turn. I'm gonna spend one egg to plant or to play a bird here, and I'm gonna play this one. Play that there. Slide that over, and I lose my worm. Automa, they are going to gain one egg, and they're also going to remove that cube from that spot. Back to my turn. I'm all out of resources, so I'm gonna gain two. I'm gonna gain a worm and a cherry. Add those. Sliding it over. These two have the same ability, so they will both take one of these and cash it on their cards. So that'll be worth one victory point each at the end of the game. Back to the ornament. So they are going to take the mice with this and put a cube up there it's so back to my turn I'm going to be playing this card so it's gonna cost me one worm and that's going to be my turn Autumn is going to gain an egg and another cube So I've got two turns left this round. I've got one card I could play, but I would need another worm for it. I would like to be able to get, I can only get two eggs on this bird and they already have three. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get first place. So it doesn't make sense to me to go for the round bonus. I think I'll just take this action. I'm going to re-roll the dice. I want a worm, perfect. I'll get one worm and I'll get a fish as well. And then sliding this over, we'll place one on each of these. There we go. Automat's just gonna gain one egg. And then our last turn of the round, I will go here, just gonna spend an egg this bird, I need to spend a worm and a cherry. Play down that bird. And for the Artemis last turn, they are going to take both of these out of here. And I would activate any pink powers I have, but I don't have any. So that's going to be end of the first round. So the Artemis is going to win the end of round bonus. So they'll get four points. I'll get one. Take these cards back and then we are going to look through their deck remove after round one so we can remove this card and we'll reshuffle them so now we are going to head into round two I get to go first so this round, we're going to want eggs in the grasslands. I don't have any birds for that, and I don't have any bird cards either. I think I'll just gain one uh, card. I want something to go in the grasslands, so I'm looking at one of these two. I think I'll take Franklin's skill. And then moving over, all players draw one from the deck. So I can draw a card. This does not apply to the Automa. So we can move that off. So now I've got two cards in my hand. Now it's round two. We look at the second. So he's going to take the cherry and we roll the dice. And then I still don't have any pink abilities to activate. Back to my turn. I am going to gain resources so I can gain two. I want a fish and something else, but looks like I can't get a fish. So I will take a worm and a wheat. 
Now I already have a fish in my supply anyway, so that will work perfectly. Sliding over, this just gains me one worm from the supply. And then these two, cash a wheat. The Alama, so they are going to be looking for birds that eat fish. There are none. So they're just going to gain one card and also place one of these. For round two, with this ability, they are going to start with three. So now they're at four for that. So I'll need to get more than four to be able to beat them. Back to my turn. I'm going to play a bird. I can play Franklin skill for a fish and a worm in this middle section. The Otama are going to gain two eggs. And remove the cube. Perfect. It's back to my turn. I need some eggs. So I will go here. I'll get two. Put them both in the Franklin skill. Then sliding it over, I can discard an egg to draw two cards. I think I'll do that. Discard that egg. I'll just draw two from the top. Got an Inca Dove and American Bittern. One I can play in the wheat section, which is perfect. Okay, the Artemis turn. Two eggs. And they're putting the cube right back up there. Okay, back to my turn. I want to play something else in here. Okay. I think I'll spend my egg and I'll do the song sparrow right here. Um I can spend a worm to build this. That's done. Okay, the Automa, they are going to be looking for birds to eat fish, none. So they will just gain one of those. It's back to my turn. I'm going to gain three eggs. And I wanna fill up this grassland habitat. To hopefully beat the Automa. This guy's ability, if this bird is to the right of all other birds in its habitat, move it to another habitat. So I'm going to move it up there. And then I can discard an egg to draw two cards. I'm just going to keep that. And I'll move over. Next is the turn. They are going to refresh the stack. I'm going to add a card to that pile. And then it's my last turn of the round. I'm going to go here so I can gain three resources. I'm going to gain one wheat. And then I'm going to re-roll. And I'm going to gain a fish and a mice as well. Moving over, I'll move this bird back to this habitat. I can gain a worm from a supply and cash these under those cards. For the Artemis last turn, they are just going to take this out of there. Activate all pink. I still don't have any. So they get three, four. I only have three eggs, so they're going to beat me again in that. Then we'll remove the card. Here it is. And we can reshuffle these up. And move to round three. So this round, it's total birds. And the Automa is going to start with eight. So I've got six right now. So if I can get a few more birds out on my habitat. I might be able to beat them, we'll see. I get to go first. Got plenty of resources. Um, we'll see which one I want to play. Hmm. I'm gonna be playing the American Bidden. It's worth seven victory points, so that's pretty good. 
to be a worm, mice, and a fish. And then that's going to cost me one egg. So now it will be the Artemis turn. Looking for something that eats mice. So there are two of them. They will gain the one that's higher. Oh, they're looking for fish. Yep. This is the only one that eats fish. So I'll take that. Perfect. And then they also gain a cube. All right. Back to my turn. Could use some more cards. So I'm going to get three eggs. I'm going to place them down here because I'm looking ahead to see that I'll need eggs in the water in the final round. Then I can move this bird. I think I'll move them up here. And then I can discard an egg to draw two cards to help replenish. Got three cards now. The Automa are going to gain three eggs. And then they also lose the queue. It's back to my turn. See if I can build any of these. Hmm. I think I'm going to go here. So I can get three resources. I'm going to take both of these cherries. And I get one more. Um, I'm going to go for a uh, fish. And then I'll move this guy back here. I can gain a worm and then cash one of each of those. All right, it's going to be the Artemis turn next. No birds eat fish, so they're just going to grab one and place it on their stack, and they get a cube. It's back to my turn, and I'm going to play this bird. It costs a worm and two cherries, and oops, it's going to cost me one egg. I can play it here or here. I think I'll play it here in this middle section. All right, and that's going to be my turn. Automa, they're going to refresh the stack. And add a card. Also lose the cube. It's so back to my turn. And I am going to come up here. I'm going to spend two eggs to build this guy here and he costs two wheat so this is a one-time ability I'll use right now and this ability lets me lay one egg on each of my birds with this kind of nest so I've got so this one's a special bird so I get to place it on there here and here and that's going to be the end of my turn Automa they're going to refresh again and gain one card. There we go. And my last turn of the round. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more would help. I can't. Um. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get eggs. So I get four of them. And place one here, one here, and then just spread them around. I get to repeat a brown power action on any other bird in this habitat. So I'm going to do this one. So I get to discard an egg to draw two cards. This one, it's not on the farthest right, so it doesn't move again. And then, pretty happy with the cards in my hand, so I think I won't do that action again. I'll just move it down there. For the Automa's last turn, they are gaining two eggs and placing a cube. So they have one 
plus 8, so they have 9. And I've got 9 as well, so we tied. So we both place 1 on the top spot. And we gotta remove the card after round three. We shuffle this up. We got five more actions to go. This final round is eggs in the water. So I've already got two on both of these, which is the max. So maybe I'll be able to place something else to get more on that there. I get to go first, and I am going to gain resources. I'm going to discard this card. No, I'm going to keep it. No, scratch. I'm going to discard it, so I get three resources. I want a cherry and a wheat. And then I'll probably just take the worm. And then I get another worm. And I get to put a wheat on both of these guys. Alright. Autumn. They're going to gain three eggs. And place a cube out there. So they get... So eggs in the water, they'll get seven automatically. Plus the one right now. So they'll be at eight. Back to my turn. <sighs> I'm going to play a bird, so it's going to cost me one egg. Play a bird, it's going to cost a wheat, a cherry, and anything I want, so I'll use a worm. Automa are going to take this and re roll. And now it's back to me. Got one card. I. It's only worth one point. I think I'm gonna get eggs. So I can get four of them. I can place them all on this guy. And then I'm going to discard one of these to draw two. And then I'll do it again. There we go. We got five cards. Automa. They are going to gain three eggs, but lose the cube. And then I've got two more turns left here. So if I can build one of these. This turn, whatever, the most expensive one. So both of these are the only two I could build. Or I could get eggs. That wouldn't help me. So I'll just build one of these this round. Or do I get eggs both? I'm going to get eggs the last two rounds. Because they'll be worth one point each. So these will be worth four points. So get place four eggs. I can't place any more down on the water. So I can just place them here, and I'm not going to draw any more cards. The Automa, they are going to reset. And gain a card. And a cube. And for my last turn, I'll just get four eggs again. Don't do anything else. go and they will get three and put a cube up so they've got two plus seven so they've got nine I only have eight so they are going to beat me in that last round all right so that's the game so now we've got final scoring to keep track of all right so I get points first, and then we'll count up the Autobahn score, the Automa. 
Okay, so first I'll get, I'll count the points for my eggs. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen points from eggs. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points from the food I cashed on the cards. I don't have any tucked cards, so I get zero from those. And then I'll count up my points on my birds. So this is three and seven, so that's ten. 20, 30, this guy's worth nothing, 36 points for my cards. For my bonus card, I'll get 2 points for everything that eats mice. I only have 1 that eats mice, so I get 2 more points. And for end of round, I've got 10, 13. So now we'll cut up the Automa. Toma, they'll get four points for each of these. So that's 20, 40 points from their cards, plus six from their one card from that one. End of round goals, they've got seven, six, five, and four. So that's going to be 13, 18, 21. And then for eggs, they've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one from eggs as well. So their total score will be forty, sixty one, eighty two plus six is eighty eight. And I've got thirty six plus two is thirty eight. Plus 13 is going to be 41, 51, 57, 67, 70, 80. So I scored 80. The Automa scored 88. So they'll win this game. And that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other games you would like me to play or something like that, please leave those in the comments below. I'm probably going to make a video on Scythe coming up soon. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.